breaking, Obama's $32 million secret found from his last year. It's no secret that transparency was a huge issue during Barack Obama's presidency. However, even we didn't think he'd go this far to hide things from the American people. Conservative Journal reported that it was just revealed that Obama spent a record $36.2 million of taxpayer money in legal fees to try and hide things from the press and from the American people. Thanks to the Freedom of Information Act, Obama should have turned over various records when he was asked to. However, he instead spent years and millions of dollars continuing to deny knowing the whereabouts of whatever was in question. It's been confirmed that of the $36.2 2 million the Justice Department accounted for $12 million, the Homeland Security Department for $6. 3 million and the Pentagon for $4. Though Obama's White House claimed to be the most transparent administration in history, it was in no rush to respond to the 788,769 requests for files and were not concerned with the $478 million they paid staff to answer them. In a staggering 77 of the requests under President Obama's administration, the public received censored files or nothing at all. This proves once and for all that Obama was anything but transparent. Share this story if you agree Obama was the most conniving and corrupt president. Alert, Trump just discovered Obama and Lynch's massive felonies. Met with Natalia Veselnitskaya, a Russian lawyer, right after President Trump was nominated. Trump's campaign manager Paul Manafort also attended the meeting in an attempt to get dirt on Hillary Clinton before the election. As it turns out, the Russian lawyer lied and did not know anything about Hillary. She wanted to talk about the U.S. It has since been discovered that Loretta Lynch and Obama wiretapped Paul Manafort's phone so that they could listen in on the conversation, according to Medium. It turns out that Natalia was there strictly to set up Trump Jr. and co. How do we know for sure that it was a setup? All you have to do is look at the evidence. Natalia was initially denied entry into the country. She couldn't get a visa. Lynch was able to get her in under a policy known as Immigration Patrol, according to CBS News. You heard right, Lynch knew why the lawyer was coming here and set it up so that she would be able to gain entry to the country without a problem. Obama knew that all of this was going on as well. After all, Obama's Department of Justice was headed by Lynch. In other words, that order more than likely came directly from Obama himself, as author Jack Posobiec explains. Here is where things get interesting. It turns out that there was one extra person in the room during that meeting with the Natalia. His name is Renat Akhmachin, and he is a Russian-American lobbyist. Renat works with Goldstone, who set up the meeting and a couple of others for a group called Fusion GPS. Fusion GPS is the group that initially released the 35-page report claiming that Trump and Russia were working together to steal the election. The goal here was simple. Obama and Lynch got the politically inexperienced Trump Jr. to go to this meeting so that they could frame the Trump administration for the Russian collusion story that we have heard about every single day for almost a year. It would seem that the goal was to get everyone up and into a frenzy, and when the time was right, announce that Trump Jr. went to this meeting with a Russian lawyer that Lynch and Obama brought into the country. They seem to have forgotten that no information was ever exchanged, so what exactly was this collision about? Left-handed Democrats are trying to dismantle the Trump family, 
even though they are the best hope America has.